You're making such a big deal out of it. <laughs> well, he didn't seem too nervous. <clears throat> now, here we have a father faced with the age-old question. Do I trust my son or do I lower myself to picking through his garbage? Dump the bag, Andy. <laughs> I reckon he wouldn't hide anything. Oh. Ah. Check those. Geometry tests. <clears throat> An F. D. Another D. Well, you know what they say. Slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> so, Kenny, how are things going in school? Say, in, uh, oh, I don't know. Geometry? <laughs> oh, I love geometry. It's, it's so fun. So this F here stands for fun? Would you believe fantastic? Fred wouldn't believe fantastic. Tonight after dinner, we are going to have a marathon study session. We're going to turn this F into an A. If you were smart, Ken, you would have done that yourself with the red pin before Dad saw it. <laughs> But that'll be wrong. <laughs> This is a little ritual we Earthlings call studying. It involves pencil, paper, and this mysterious object here known as a book. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, Dad. I don't know why I have to learn geometry. It, it bites, and no one ever uses it. Oh, come on, that's not true. Lots of people use it. Like who? Like uh, two grain farmers in Kansas with silos of an equal radius. <laughs> You know, why should I study? I'm just gonna fail anyways. And rather spend time at something I'm good at. Son, you already sleep 17 hours a day. <laughs> I think it's time you mastered another skill. Well, let's get going. I want to show real progress when I meet with your teacher. My teacher? Well, why do you want to meet old lady Rhodes? Because of this note on your last test. Dear Reverend Weber, please see me as soon as possible regarding Kenny's grades. Didn't I mention that? Dad, I've got a lot on my mind. Son, you may have a lot of problems, but an overcrowded mind isn't one of them. Hi, Father Mike. I have a feeling Sunday school is going to be a lot more exciting from now on. Check it out. Religious action figures. <laughs> hey, kids, you got to get one. It's Moses. Let my people go. <laughs> hey, Andy, want to play with this cool religious action figure or what? Yeah, Todd, let me take it to school. I haven't been beat up this year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so what are you doing there, geometry? Uh-huh. I love geometry. Once in divinity school, a buddy and I calculated how many angels could actually fit on the head of a pen. Of course, we were all hopped up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> Don't get me going. <laughs> I'll try my darndest not to. Uh, can we have a little piece? I'm trying to help Kenny with his homework. Well, to help you are, you got the formula inverted. There's one thing I know about geometry, and that is the shortest distance between your place and here is a straight line. Prove it to me. Oh, that is so mature. <laughs> Dad, we're never going to get this done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, we will. Your old dad will figure this out. All we, all we got to do is just put our noses to the grindstone and focus. How about a sandwich first? I'm Miss Rhodes. Your old lady Rhodes? Ever since I hit 30. Uh, Mike Weber, Kenny's dad. Pleased to meet you. Have a seat. You can sit a little closer to the front. Force a habit. <laughs> Funny, that's where Kenny sits. Listen, I'd like to.
to start by discussing the work Kenny did last night. Kind of different from what he usually hands in, huh? Yes, it was a complete disaster. <laughs> it was? Didn't you like the way he drew that stop sign shape thing? The octagon? Yeah, octagon. How much time did he put into this? Well, he was up half the night, I think. He even missed a documentary he wanted to see on the P-51 Mustang and its role in World War II. Kids, they, they love that old P-51. Here's some practice lessons for Kenny to do, not for Dad to do. I stand busted. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, by the way, I taped that special on the P-51. Oh, yeah? You interested in flying? Yeah, ever since I saw Dumbo when I was a little kid. Uh, you know, I was in the Air Force, and I saw Dumbo. Really? Where were you stationed? Uh, just outside of New Orleans. We kept Mardi Gras safe for democracy. <laughs> you gotta love that Cajun food. I, I do. Hey, have you been to the new Catfish Cafe downtown? No, but I would love to try it. Well, you should try it. <laughs> Are you gonna ask, or do I have to be even more obvious? Maybe just one more hint. Pick you up at seven? Right on. <laughs> Damn, can't you guard anybody? That girl's at least 5'10". <laughs> Guys, I'm going out for a bit. Todd will be over to keep an eye on things. How did your uh, meeting go with old lady Rhodes? Fine. But why do you keep calling her old lady Rhodes? She's my age. Right. <laughs> she's your age. She's a lady. Your name is Rhodes. <laughs> old lady Rhodes. <laughs> Well, I guess we'd better bring our teeth in case we want to have a steak at the restaurant. We? Yeah. Ms. Rhodes and I are getting dinner. Is she hot, Dad? No, she's not hot. She's a geometry teacher. Dad, how could you ask my teacher on a date? It's not a date. It's just a man and a woman eating. Besides, she asked me out. She asked you out? Why? <laughs> well, maybe it's because I'm charming witty and incredibly handsome. No, really? Why? <laughs> what if somebody sees you together? Dad, why are you always trying to embarrass me? I, I don't try to embarrass you. It just comes naturally. <laughs> well, I got another one. I got another one. Okay. What did the Italian geometry teacher say after an exorcism? Hexagona! <laughs> <laughs> Christine, I see you've met Todd already. Sorry about that. My son, Andy, and you know that guy. Hey, Kenny. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen you raise your hand. <laughs> Don't forget about your quiz tomorrow. Okay. I'll see ya. Bye. Have fun, you math nuts. Don't drink and derive. I've got to stop. <laughs> Father Todd. Boy, you really stink at this, don't you? This game stinks. I quit. Oh, man, you're studying? I figure if I stop flunking, Dad won't have to date old lady Rose. This gets out at school, my life is over. You're studying? Take it slow, you might pull a muscle in your head or something. It's my turn to choose the game. Now let's play church. Who wants to be the controlling, power-hungry head priest? And who wants to be the young, hip, cool, spelt, super wicked cool assistant priest? Can I go to bed? No. That was a great restaurant. I thought you'd like that. <laughs> and I love the way you ordered in French. Oh, well... My French is, uh, how you say, a little rusty. <laughs> no, it was charming. And the waiter enjoyed hearing about Pierre and Monique having a seat at the train station. So you know French, too, huh? Oui. But you did not save my derriere, mademoiselle. So, c'est la guerre! <laughs> <laughs> 
She feels an outcast in the work. Where was the geometry quiz? I pulled a C. Wow, an F to a C. That must have been some kiss. <laughs> Wait, you think the only reason I got a C is because Dad dated my teacher? I didn't earn it? Yeah. Excellent. As long as Dad dates her, you can totally coast. Hey, hey, Dad. Hey, Kenny. Dad, I've been thinking, if it makes you happy to date my teacher, then it makes me happy. Oh, yeah? Since when? Since you got a C in geometry. You got a C? How'd you pull a C? A lot of these answers are wrong. Oh, she gave me partial credit because I showed all my work. Dad, I've got a big paper coming up. Would you consider dating my English teacher? Son, no offense, but I don't feel that special magic with Mr. Scott. Hey, Christine. Hey, aren't you the guy last night who did the dirty dancing impression with the two soft shell crabs? Yeah. Uh, seriously, send me the dry cleaning bill for that, would you? <laughs> Listen, I, uh, I want to talk about Kenny's quiz. I thought you'd be happy. I'm very happy with the grade he got. I'm just concerned how he got it. Well, I assume he studied. How else would he get it? Oh, I don't know. You, me, soft shell crabs. The night, the kiss. And? And I just want to be sure that you're not giving Kenny preferential treatment. What? You think I'm giving your son a grade he didn't deserve? Well, I don't. Sit down. Christina. I said sit. Yes, Ms. Rhodes. <laughs> you think I would throw away my professional integrity over a lousy kiss? Gee, I kind of thought it was a pretty good kiss. <laughs> Okay, fine, I admit, it was a pretty good kiss, but it had nothing to do with Kenny's grade. Well, I'm sorry for jumping to conclusions, but, you know, math skills don't exactly run in our family. Well, maybe he's living down to your expectations. Do you give him a lot of positive reinforcement when he does something well? Yes, of course. Just yesterday, I complimented him on his sleeping ability. <laughs> Yeah, I've often admired his work here in the classroom. I just feel so bad. I, I can't help him because I'm so rotten at math. Teaching him geometry is my job. All you have to do is encourage him. You're right. Oh, there's civics class. Oh, by the way, maybe I wasn't encouraging enough. Your kiss really was quite good. You think with a little work, I could pull an A? With the right teacher. Put me down for detention. But you have to be bad for detention. Put me down for detention. Well, I just saw Miss Rhodes. Well, you didn't break up with her, did you? Relax. She assured me you earned that grade yourself. I did? How? Well, I guess you studied. I'm not worried about you. You're a bright guy. I don't think so, Dad. Everyone understands geometry but me. Well, that's not entirely true. I never told you this, son, but I failed geometry in high school. What? Oh, yeah. Wound up in summer school. Well, how come you never told me you failed? Well, I figured if I told you, you'd use it as an excuse not to try. Yeah, now what am I going to use? <laughs> Nothing. We'll, we'll work on geometry together. I have a plan. Yeah, but, Dad, you suck at this, too. <laughs> well, I didn't say it was going to be pretty. All right, class, I know I've been pushing and tutoring you pretty hard this week, but I also know that you respect me for that. Now... <laughs> Now... <laughs> 
That wasn't even funny the first time. All right, let's, let's just start with a simple volume problem. Actually, this one's a real hoot. Okay, we know Jesus had six water pots at the wedding feast in Cana. If each pot held 20 gallons, how many six-ounce glasses of wine would Jesus the Messiah serve? Oh, that's easy. As many as he wanted. It's, it was a miracle, right? <laughs> yeah, it was a miracle. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I get it. Everyone wants to be a class clown. Well, let's see how funny you think a pop quiz is. I hate pop quizzes. I always freeze. Okay, okay, we're in this together. We've, we've done a lot of work. Stop talking. Don't make me separate you. The books and papers away. Come on, chop, chop, I've had it. I'm up to here. I'm up to here. <laughs> Todd. I hear a voice, but I see no hand. <laughs> what is it, Weber? I have a question. If I pull you into four equal parts, <laughs> would that make you more or less of a pain in the butt? I am just trying to simulate the pressure of a real classroom. Now, straighten up. You enjoy bossing me around, don't you? Yeah, it's a kick. <laughs> all right, now listen up. You're going to have 30 minutes to complete this test. 30 minutes, all right? I want you to begin when I say now. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Now, go ahead. Start right now. Start right now. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Time's up. Pencils down. Drop the pencil, father. Drop the pencil. I'm deducting points. Drop the pencil, father. Let's see what we got here. I got a paper with no name on it. Todd, there are only two of us. Always trying to cut corners, aren't you, Weber? Now I see what you mean. And now geometry sucks. No. About hating your teacher. You know, Miss Rhodes isn't that bad. Hey, has she said anything about me? Dad, that is so junior high. And Kenneth Weber, you may step forward and pick up your test. Hey, I got, I got an 80%. That's a B. That's not bad. Not bad. That's great. And I still have a paper without a name on it. 70? Dad, I beat you. Sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. I've never gotten a 70 in my life. All right. Hey, way to go, Dad. <laughs> Same to you. I'm proud of you. Thanks for your help, Todd. No problem. My pleasure. <laughs> Dad, we're not so bad at geometry. Oh, I could have done it without you, big guy. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Todd. Todd. Yeah, well, you guys didn't have to say that. <laughs> well, you see, Kenny, you applied yourself, and your grade improved. Yeah, but your behavior stayed the same. So as punishment for you two, I want you to write 100 times each. I'll try to be a little more like Todd. <laughs> important to admit what we don't know because this is the way that we learn. Believe me, I'm a prime example. I don't know a lot of stuff. I don't know why bad things happen to good people. I don't know why fools fall in love. I don't know why I eat a quarter pounder and then gain five pounds overnight. <laughs> the good news is, with God, you got the best teacher in the business. And he will give partial credit as long as you trust him and take action. And uh, speaking of action, for our Sunday school attendees, I'm proud to announce, from the mind of Father Todd, religious action figures, like Jonah. He knows when you're inside a whale, swim upstream. David, he knows how to take down a giant with just a rock and a 
a jock strap. <laughs> and my personal favorite, the handsome, debonair, head priest. <laughs> Harley and Shades sold separately.